Do you know one ounce of the struggle I have daily trying to figure out who the f I am at 31? You have no. I can talk and say about whatever I want. Whatever it's my life, I can say whatever I want. If it's my truth, it's my truth. Did you miss me? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video on the Curtis Price channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the people who truly fail humanity. One person who honestly believes they are more valuable than the rest of us. And that person is the one and only spectacular Trisha Paytas, who never does anything wrong according to herself. But don't worry, that's exactly what I'm here for today, my friends, to prove how much of a literal brainless eating machine Trisha Paytas really is. Oh, I got offended by that. You did? Well, here's a tissue stop crying about it. But today we will in fact be discussing her recent drama which pretty much consists of me proving Trisha Paytas is literally full of shit. <laughs> Surprising, I know. But also dissecting one of her recent videos where she decided to cause first world problems and exposing her until she literally has no credibility to go off. It's simple, it's that horrendous. However, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Bye. Okay. Ah, here for the backstory, ladies and gentlemen. Well, don't worry, that is something I can provide. So a YouTuber by the name of Anthony Padilla, former member of the group Smosh, uploaded a video interviewing a girl which had DID. Now, dissociative identity disorder is basically where you can have multiple personalities slash alters. One of the reasons this is caused is due to severe trauma during early childhood. Now, I was actually a big fan of this video. My little friend came running in with his little feet and he climbed up on the chair with his little hands and I gave the video a thumbs up. That man was also 21. However, ladies and gentlemen, it was only a matter of time before the bacterial infection itself came rushing in after the adrenaline of self-gain. And that infection is something I like to call the Trish Fish Infection, aka Trisha Paytas. She clearly thought if she was a part of it, she could gain somewhat of attention, so she decided to upload this video. Meet my alters. D.I.D. He has been always with me and he is the one that has the eating disorder and can't control our eating, I guess you could say. Um, it's really crazy because I can control my eating. And then when Walter comes around, it's very like I need to eat every single food. Now, Trisha, I hate to break it to you, love. Well, that's just called eating fat. I mean, imagine having this conversation down in the bar with your mates, eh? Crikey, Moses. You know, right, I was eating my 30-ounce burger with 20 mozzarella sticks on the side, and I started to gain weight by crikey. Now, well, let me tell you, that's a story for the evening post. But she proceeded to rumble on and claim that she had multiple alters. Even though she's been on YouTube since 2007, and she's never mentioned it. <laughs> Until now. However, she did in fact receive a lot of backlash from this, including Anthony Padilla, who uploaded a story calling out basically saying she's lying through her ass. Spoiler alert, she is. Or is she lying through her ass? Find out soon. Now, Trisha being the clout hungry fuck she is, she decided to come back with her own stories. Yeah, you get him, Trisha. Kick his ass, he bass. Holy moly shit. <laughs> now, that's a lot of stories. Uh, <clears throat> I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I better be getting paid for this. You know, this isn't freelance. Anthony Padilla, I saw that you called me trash on your Instagram story because you say I'm claiming to have a mental disorder and that I'm mocking the people with a similar mental disorder as me. Well, fuck you, you dumb piece of shit. Just accuse me of claiming that I have a disorder. Oh, you have depression, anxiety. Are you sure about that, Anthony? Because you look fine. Are you claiming to have anxiety just to be cool, you dumb piece of shit? Me, you don't know what goes on inside my head. You've never been in a relationship with me. You're not related to me. You don't even fucking know me, you dumb piece of shit. Can you imagine waking up every morning not knowing who the fuck you are? Can you imagine being in a relationship with someone and all of a sudden you're switching, you're a different person? Like, who was that? That was a different person. Do you know how fucking scary that is? You dumb piece of a fucking doctor. You don't know me. Don't fucking analyze me. Until you have snapped at your own fucking family. Until you've lost your fucking mind on people you love and they're too scared to fucking be around you. He called you out for bullshit in Trisha. You know, he's not trying to tell you your entire life story and what your struggles are. And quite frankly, I couldn't give a flying fuck either. You know, just being honest. But I find it very interesting how you are so insulted by what Anthony Padilla said by calling you trash. Even though you yourself also said this. Watch the Anthony Padilla one and... There's a girl disassociated or something, I think her name, she's British, and um, like I watched it and I was like, oh, like she seems crazy, but I know that's like, like... No! Doesn't that just 
debunk everything you said. Going at someone who called you trash by uploading countless minutes of stories when you yourself called someone with DID crazy. Now don't mind me, I'm just asking the questions. But how can something you experience yourself be so crazy exactly? Unless of course you don't actually have this disorder and you've just been lying through your ass this entire time. I mean that would make perfect sense. You are one smart cupcake. You are an attention whore Trisha. Regardless how sensitive that topic on hand might be at the time. However that's exactly when Trisha Payton decided to upload this video. Dear Anthony Padilla. And in that it was, it was practically a duplicate of an Instagram story. Mm, quality content. Now Trisha has already done herself in with one case of hypocrisy. Could she possibly do another? Well, surely not. What's up you guys? Okay, hi. Alright, are we all over being fucking sensitive pricks here on the internet? Cool, I love that. Because guess what? I can talk and say about whatever I want. When it pertains to my life, I can say whatever I want. If it's my truth, it's my truth. Well, that's just fantastic. Trisha, let me just lay it out for you. You upload an entire season of Instagram stories being triggered by someone who called you trash and then proceeded to break down in a puddle of sweat. <laughs> are we done being a sensitive prick on the internet now? Turns out we are not. However, I'd like to address the next point in a segment I like to call the common sense cretin, which is a play on words of common sense. For you folks out there who lack common sense, I didn't mean that. But without further ado, let's head right over. It's a green screen. Hello everyone and welcome to Common Sense Cretin with your host, Common Sense Cretin. <clears throat> yeah. But this is where we take the dumbest of the world and just sprinkle a little bit of common sense on there. Now Trisha Paytas, she followed up with a video which was titled My Alter Switch Caught on Camera. Let's have a watch, shall we? If we dare. <laughs> we make YouTube videos and like... I always get scared when you help controversial ones. Holy moly shit, well that was painful to watch. <laughs> Let's take this clip and work out magic. So Trisha now magically has DID ever since Anthony Padilla's video had 4 million views. And the common sense of that would be, Trisha you've been on YouTube since 2007. And never once have we heard anything of the sort about your DID condition. You have one alter Trisha Paytas. And that's dumb as fuck. I personally feel like I don't need to say anything else about this part considering she literally imitated the alter switch from dissociative DID Anthony Padilla's video and then implemented it into her own video. You're practically mocking this girl's disorder, Trisha. You, my friend, are one self-obsessed eating machine, aren't you? Now this next clip I thought you might be interested in. It's uh, Trisha Paytas pacing around her kitchen because that's apparently her idea of DID. Oh, this, this is what she was talking about, <laughs> you know, from earlier, you know, <laughs> the auto who couldn't stop eating, this is it. <laughs> wow, I guess I better set up to saying the truth after all. Oh, shit. Nah, wrong. Like I said, you're an eating machine, Trisha. You can't blame your weight gain on a disorder that you don't have, love. However, she didn't stop there. She decided to upload a video titled Dissocia DID. Please stop bullying us. And also, I'm actually really not okay. And in these videos, she practically broke down and just felt sorry for herself the entire time on her kitchen floor. <laughs> yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, Trisha Paytas is a massive troll. In both ways, I'd like to add. But, you know what, Trisha? You win. I'm going to agree with you that you do have DID and that the internet needs to shut the fuck up. But before I do that, it's always nice to know how credible that person is. So I think it'd only be correct of me and morally morally right of me if I just you know, do a quick little background check. Would that be okay with you? I, I, I hope so. The trans video has over 3 million views. Many people are claiming that you do that. Uh, in part for YouTube revenue. Is that true? No, because YouTube doesn't monetize uh, like LGBTQ plus videos. Like if you talk about it, they don't put it, they don't put ads on it. I did not monetize myself like any ones I've made. Uh, YouTube will put their own ads on there, I guess. No. I don't know. No, I swear. I know how YouTube works. It doesn't work like I that. I can show you. I literally, I mean, I don't you have You were getting phone. paid for that. I'm not, I, I can yes. show you. I haven't made, you, I can that, show you my analytics. I know YouTube. It I rolls. Do, they're not, I it's not monetized. I it I've is. Showed. It's all demonetized. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
very much. I am transgender. Three million views. Green icon. Monetized money no, she don't made. Tell her. <laughs> she made eight thousand dollars from that video. Well, I guess one thing we can take away from this is big words. Lion. Mmm, not a very credible person at all it seems. Demanded over and over and over like a child throwing his toys out the pram that that video was not monetized. However, you made 8k on that video. 8 grand. Do you know what I could buy with 8 grand? A new chair. And I would sit in it, bollock naked all day and watch the sunrise. I would like nicely to add on to that point, if this video does make 8k, I'm going to let my balls blow in the breeze for 24 hours. That wasn't even part of the script. I don't know why that came out. <laughs> However, that was in fact the transgender drama that Trisha created, which nicely leads on to my next point. How many things has Trisha Paytas done which damages her credibility as a content creator? How has it damaged her credibility throughout her life? How much <clears throat> can she truly damage her credibility before it's too late? I just wanted to make this video. This is the last video you're gonna see of me like crying and being crazy, I swear. Cause the pain, um... Jason is the nicest man I have ever met. Because even though Jason's creepy and disgusting. Hey guys, and welcome to the Catholic Vlogger. Um, today's topic will be um, being Catholic, what Catholic means to me. Yay. My 100 layers of cum challenge. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, 